Welcome to Google Maps tutorial. So for starters, uh, where you're going to go is the address maps.google.com.au and you should get this screen, you might have seen this before. Now at this point you should be signed in. If you are, it's going to come up with a cursor like this at the top uh, and it will have all your details there. Um, if you're not, it will say something else there, but that's the place you need to click to sign in because when you do you'll click over here this section that says menu and scroll down to your places then move across here to maps this is the my map section now I've got a few made already um, when you start fresh you'll have nothing here it will just set, have the option down the bottom to create map so you want to click on that and it will open up a new tab and you should get a blank map of somewhere, usually Australia, because that's your settings. You want to go ahead and name this map. Now I'm going to call it Globalization in Port Adelaide. You choose your own area, so pick a name appropriately, uh, just a suitable title. From here, you've got two options. Now I've chosen to do Port Adelaide. I can zoom in. I roughly know where that is. It's going to zoom in most to Adelaide and with enough work that will you know Port Adelaide is here that'll turn up eventually alternatively you can take this approach where you type it in click on the thing and it will pop up with a marker and show you the spot so we want to get nice and close for what we're about to do close enough that we can really see all the things around here now this marker will stay if you search it. You can easily delete it just over here by clicking that button, it'll disappear. We are going to be using markers though. From here you want to select your base map. Now there's a few options. You can do this satellite option here, which will be used from Google Earth. There's this option which is a little bit more bland, that's showing the terrain. You can search through. I like this one because it shows all the businesses around there. What I'm going to be doing, I'm going to take something really straightforward here. I'm going to put Port Adelaide McDonald's here. We're going to be using markers or polygons to show the globalization within your chosen area. And you will have seen probably this marker feature before um, in some form in Google Maps. If I click that button, it will allow me to select an area where I am going to find a feature of globalization and type in some information for it and put a little marker there. Now that's really straightforward. I can put a, uh, some details if I want to as well. Port Adelaide. And click Save. And whenever that's unclicked, wherever we go, if we come back there and we click that thing, that's going to come up with all that information. We can also, we can edit that if need be but we can change the icon there. Now that's a straightforward icon in blue. We can make it any color that we see fit. And we can also choose from a whole range of other icons. There's a big selection and it continually is changing. Now we could find something really suitable for McDonald's, say a burger, how's that? And we could make it a nice purple color or a, not purple do. And we can also find images. Um, this one will let me paste a URL of an image or we can use Google image search as well. So let's keep it straightforward and just search for McDonald's. And let's go this one with the fries. That one is going to come up every time somebody, anybody who accesses this map will click on that. That's the information they're going to get. And you can make it as detailed as you need to. The other way that you can do this is with this feature base map that I've got, I can just click on the places and it will give me a whole bunch of information. You've got a website there, address, uh, star rating. But if I click this button here, add to map, it's going to put the marker in for me. That's way more useful. I can now put in any of these icons that I want to the same way as I could 
as the one I've made myself, but I don't really have to go looking for this thing and set it all up. Now to add a polygon, I'll just zoom out for a second. Let's say I want to select this entire area uh, and just highlight it. This feature here, draw a line, and you can see that there's a couple of other options here, but I'm going to draw a basic line. If I start drawing it as a line and click it like that, that's fine. That'll draw a line. Excellent. That might be exactly what I need. But I haven't double clicked this yet, so it's going to keep drawing lines. It's going to select until I click again and again and again until I meet up with the original point, which is going to be difficult because it's hidden behind there. Once I click that original point, it will select the whole area. It will ask me to name it. Let's call it Globalization Area. And same with this one. I can add a photo. The other cool thing I can do, though, is, is change things like the border width. Uh, and also the transparency. Now I can make that, you know, completely dark. I can make it uh, not light at all, or just a little bit, so I can still see things underneath it, as needed. And change color as you, as you want as well. Now the advantage of doing it with polygons could be that you may want to uh, select these little properties individually, which these maps show when you zoom in. And by doing so, you know, you might be able to represent certain data. But alternatively, the markers also work great. Now, you should probably name your layers as well. You can add layers and start fresh if you are doing multiple suburbs or different areas here and there and start this again. You do have the option if you say you don't want to keep this one, you can delete it. There's a little trash button there. You can also delete the whole layer um, by clicking this button and at worst case scenario, you can delete the whole map. But when you're done and you are ready to more or less export this, you want to be clicking share because quite often this will be private when you start. Say who has access, it will say private. Only you can access this. This person here is the owner, that's me. And to share that, we're going to need to add someone else's email address. Now it could be uh, whatever address you choose. Now I'm doing the same one in this situation and you can give them the, them the option. They can edit or they can view. If you don't want someone to edit your work, then just hit, click can view. And you can add more people as needed. And from here you can click this link and copy and paste it and put it into your Word document. But you've got to make sure that you've allowed me or other people access because if you don't, then it's just going to show up private and it's not going to be available to anyone. And you can also click send when you do that and it will email them letting them know the sitch. Um, one last thing is that when you've done this, it will continue to save automatically. You'll see here it says all changes saved in Drive. It just saves it within your Google account. So if we go back here and I go back to my original ones and I just refresh, it's going to be here. It's going to be at the top for the time being. And I can click on that one and it will show this for me. Now we could zoom right out and all of this will still be there. And as I click on it, it'll take it to me and we see the the fries there, that information is not going anywhere. And if we want to edit that, all we need to do is click open in my maps and it will take us to where we were.